Hi, this is Lock Z, and we are going to be playing Soul Shepherd. This is a game that I actually helped create some of the maps for, and have also talked to the designer of a lot regarding the uh, balance and gameplay in the game. But despite the fact that I am actually somewhat involved in the creation of the game, I'm going to try to give it sort of an impartial kind of let's play video. See, the main character here, he is a soul shepherd. face of imminent death, the power of the Soul Shepherd was unleashed. And he has the power to uh, summon these homunculi, which do his bidding and fight in battle for him. And he can gather the souls of monsters to put into the homunculi and make them stronger. It's not a story-heavy game, though, not at all. It's definitely a focus on game. So compared to the original version of this game, um, this is the new starting town. Uh, the original starting town was inside of a cave, it looked really, really bad. Um, and so I actually helped somewhere clean up the maps for these first few areas. I can't actually remember if he left the protagonist as silent or... Yeah, apparently he did. So... Basic premise game. Um, there are monsters. They kill everyone. They rule the dungeon that we're in, and as a soul shepherd who can take the souls of those monsters and become stronger, we are uniquely equipped to turn the dungeon on its head and make our way out of here. start with those 50 gold coins. I'm also not sure why if they belong to that guy he would just let me take them. Oh well. Um, quite a list of menu options here to start with. Let's see what's in the config. Oh, uh, nothing useful. Okay. We'll ignore all of that for now and know what it, most of it means anyway. Welcome to a 95% chance of death. That's about right. The first time I played this game, the first battle of the game killed me three times in a row. I think he has made it a little easier since then. I think. We'll see. I'm gonna save my money in case I need it. Let's find out how much the game costs. I can't wait. It's going to change, though, because it changes as you level up. You have three ways to go here. You can go northwest, or you can go northeast into the cave here. Both of those are the hard options, and if I go those ways, I will die. 100% chance I will die. Um, 
this is the actual first dungeon area. Very spiky. Now, you think this is your first battle, you can just sort of whack on these bats and the scorpion to win. Let me show you what's going to happen if I try to do that. So right off the bat, after one round, I've got a dead character and one character at 40% health and one at 60% health. So let's try my skills. He added some extra description of these skills I can see. It says tier 2 damage instead of just damage. actual improvement that's going to be over my normal attacks. See, I'm doing great here so far. You think this is going terribly. I deserve to get a game over. Um, this is actually about average for how well first battle in the game tends to go for me. Yeah, see, I just died. The And the, I died because I spent one round showing you what happens if you don't pay attention. So, let's try that again while actually using those skills intelligently. I'm actually going to stay up here close to the town so that I can go back and heal after every single battle. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, the main character, Katana, is the only one with a really good skill right now. It actually does less damage than the other three characters' skills, but it inflicts blind and poison on the enemy. So I'm going to use that on the big enemy here, the Sahaga. Because I happen to know that these bats are the weakest enemies in the game. A new player wouldn't actually know that, but you can probably kind of guess it just from the fact that there are three bats and one of the other guy. And see, I had bad luck last time because the one character who died in the first round was the healer. And so this time, I'm actually going to be using a heal. Notice I have not taken damage yet. That's not going to stop me from using my healing skill, though. I'm going to use it anyway. Now. See, the healing skill was useful. It had about a 50 50 chance of being useful there. This time, I actually know who to use it on. Oh, good, I poisoned and blinded that bat. That's useful. And my healer's dead. It's random, you don't get it every time, and once I get a soul for each of my four characters, I'm going to be doing way better, but for now, um, you can 
see. If I go to them, you can see they actually take 150% damage from force, weapon, heat, cold, and electric. And only Katan, the main character, um, doesn't have all of those weaknesses. All three of the homunculus do. See if I can buy anything useful. That'll make my time a little easier. Got... Did I buy an herb yet? I believe poison and blind wear off at the end of battle. Um, if they don't, they wear off after a couple rounds. So I'm not going to bother with them just yet. That's good. That's a revival item, I assume. I remember, but it has Phoenix in the name. It's got to be a revival item. This is a much easier battle. It doesn't have that awful sag in it. We can actually attack with everyone. But I'm going to not attack with that target. I'm using Light Strike on because Light Strike is amazing and blinds the enemies. And if it happens to blind the enemy, then the blinded enemy is harmless for the rest of the battle. So it's not a good time to attack. They're not specific for the characters, they're based on what equipment you're wearing. So because Katana has a smock, apparently he can heal someone. But his life strike is very useful. You can see it, even if I can't do it, so this character can do a skull patch. Katan's heal is fast, it hits the round as soon as I can. And my first Patsy is now chilled, which has some sort of negative effect. Magic spells inflict uh, negative debuffs on your characters at random. Fire on ice and lightning spells each other differently. Debuff they cause. I can't remember what chill does. I think it slows you. It's a safety section. And the enemies are here. Uncool. Two of my three characters are not blinded. Oh good, Poison killed me. Poison is really strong in this game compared to what I'm used to it being, which is terrible. I'm used to Poison being one of the worst status effects in the game to inflict on enemies because it just doesn't do anything. It's like 1% of their max HP every round. I think in this game it's actually based on my character's willpower. I think. Which is mostly a healing stat. Oh 
but he can do a cool thing. There we go. I'm really annoyed that I don't have any souls yet. 